Good morning. Um, what I believe I'm holding in my hand is a, uh, a viable, cost-effective option for controlling the fan clutch on the LMTV. Uh, it's 24 volt DC, three watts, um, three position, two-way solenoid valve. Uh, it has uh, a supply and feed-through port gallery in the middle of it and an outlet port. All of these are eighth inch national pipe. Um, the actuator port when the relay de-energizes vents up here to the top of the solenoid. Um, very similar to the installed valve. It's the same basic configuration. Uh, it's got kind of a neat plug here. Um, has a cover over it. Has a screw down terminals for positive negative ground. Also has a little LED on the board to indicate when the relay is powered. Um, that all goes together and screws down. Whole assembly screws together over a uh, over rubber gasket when it's assembled. Um, it should go in just like the uh, just like the existing valve uh, did. There's a supply will come in here with the right angle fitting. Um, there's a plug in the other gallery, on the end of the gallery over here, and then the outlet will go uh, down to the fan clutch. Uh, the difference, the biggest difference between the valves are the outlet port on the other valve is not eighth inch national pipe like the inlets are. Um, it has, uh, it's a smaller port size, so it uses a different fitting. Um, so you'll need one component to install this, which will be a, a, an eighth inch national pipe to the tube size. Uh, I have some push lock fittings. I'm gonna put one of those on, um, just a straight through push lock to, uh, to put the thing in. Um, they make a mounting plate kit for this that would screw down on these holes. Um, I decided to use the existing mounting plate because it's already, the dash is already uh, drilled and tapped for that plate. Um, the uh, one cool thing about this valve, it's designed to be stackable. Uh, the manufacturer makes a stacking kit. I'll show a picture of it uh, at the end of the video. Um, with uh, some special screws and nuts that fit in here, you put an O-ring and you can stack just one valve after the other and they can all use the same common supply gallery through the middle um, to outlet to their various functions. Um, say you wanna add an air horn uh, buy two of these, buy the stacking kit, put them together. One can feed your uh, solenoid valve, uh, can feed your uh, fan clutch rather, and one, one valve can feed the fan clutch, and the other valve could feed an air horn or any other air actuated appliance you might think of. Okay, um, the existing uh, unit that's in there is uh, 24 volt and 4 watts. Um, basically, the uh, amount of power in is the amount of heat you're going to generate on, on a solenoid. So uh, this one being three watts, it should actually run a little bit cooler than the original valve does. Um, I ran this for two hours last night, hooked to the battery, and it's, um, it was 102 degrees um, measured with an infrared on the side of the housing after I did it. It's just comfortably warm to hold. So uh, I'm expecting this to run a good long time. Uh, now the good news. Uh, this thing is $22.50 from the supplier out of Georgia. Um, it was $35 delivered to my door um, second day, which is, uh, I think, their lowest shipping option. It costs about 10 bucks because these just fit in a flat pack envelope. So uh, buy two. They're cheap. <laughs> um, I'm thinking this will take me about an hour to put in. Um, let, me, uh, let me go do that, and I'll get some video down there in the truck uh, once, I, uh, once I do that. But I don't foresee it being too difficult to install. Anyway, more in a bit. Okay, here's the finished product installed. Um, I went ahead and put a uh, put a push lock fitting here. Um, the compression fitting that was here was actually leaking when I took I went to take the old valve apart, so um, I wasn't necessarily happy with that. And I put a straight push lock out the back for the output. I did have to run out and get some hardware. Uh, these uh, screw fittings in the top here are four millimeter by 0.7 millimeter uh, thread pitch. So I had to go out and get some metric machine screws to fit that. Um, I already had uh, another pigtail um, available with one of the uh, the rubber um, two-pin plugs, male-female plugs. Um, so that was pretty straightforward for me to just wire it into this guy and screw it down. I said to power it up and figure out which one was uh, plus 24. If you were replacing a bad cylinder, um, you could just cut the uh, 
cut the pigtail off with the bad one. But um, this one's still functional, so I think I'm going to throw it in a bag and hold it as a spare, just in case. Um, there was a plug on this back side. I did reuse that component on the back side of uh, on the back side of this valve. But uh, that's all for this little project. It's holding air good. Uh, it powers right up. And vents nice. It's actually really quiet. Um, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but it uh, seems to work okay. We'll, uh, we'll uh, time will tell the whole story, I guess. Anyway, have a good day.